Our third graders have been studying the importance of the wetlands on Crocker. Students put on their muck clothes and waded into the wetlands to discover which plants and insects were thriving in our calcareous muck fen. Throughout our unit of study, students explored the wetlands, both as a filter for the stream and as a habitat for plants and animals. We splashed out to Crocker through puddles left by recent rains. We listened for signs of life from the boardwalk. And finally, we got to wade down into the muck for a much anticipated closer look at the habitat. After two weeks of study, students felt ready for our wetlands field day, an event planned as the culmination of the unit. Brent Barito from the USDA returned as our soil and wetland plant expert, joined by Allison Pond, an education and program support specialist working with the Lord Fairfax Soil and Water Conservation District. We learned from them about distinct wetland soils, water-loving plants, native trees, aquatic invertebrates, and measures of water quality. Students rotated between three stations, the macroinvertebrate identification rotation started with students taking a seine net into the stream and they brushed the underside of some rocks upstream of the net and caught some macroinvertebrates to identify at that station. At another station, in the wetland itself, students used their senses to explore, as Mr. Barito explained the colors and textures of the mud pulled up by a soil sampler. As we held the soil in our hands, students were fascinated to hear that a handful of healthy soil contains more organisms than there are humans on the earth. Mrs. Slavin and our third visiting expert, Miley Page, also from the NRCS, splashed into Roseville Run with a third group, searching under rocks and sifting with nets to find evidence of life in the stream. Our favorite catches of the day were multiple crayfish, a couple of small fish, chunky cranefly larvae, dainty damselfly nymphs, and a gorgeous northern red salamander, which is actually the state salamander of Virginia. It was a wonderful morning of learning, and we want to say a huge thank you to the three conservation professionals who came to share their expertise with us today. Their enthusiasm for the mud, the critters, and the plants was obvious as they shared their wealth of knowledge. But they also conveyed a sense of wonder and appreciation for the natural world. What a great and lasting lesson to share with our students.